Radical. Welcome to part two of Radical Rapid Fire. Come response for January 17th through the 23rd, 2022. Short comments, quick replies. TG5455. Well, the fakers have won the game over the magic, so no, my little pony. I had the faith. I tell you, I had the faith on the Lakers to beat the magic of the worst team in the league. I had the faith. Oh, it would have been terrible if I had to make an upload talking about my little pony. Um, the Lakers actually won last night, too. They beat the Trailblazers by a couple points, so things are looking up for the Lakers. Maybe not. I don't know. Red Strass 97. This is one of those cases where it would be better to settle than fight. Most people think that if you settle, then you admit you are in the wrong. In this case, he isn't wrong. It's just a company wants to silence him. Yeah, one person against Roblox. One person against a multi-billion dollar company. Now, uh, if I were him, I would probably settle too. I mean, it's one thing if you're taking on another person. But to take on a huge company like that, I, I just, I don't know. He wasn't wrong though. He wasn't. I figure they just wanted to silence him because he knew a whole lot of things. That's my guess on it, you know? CAWF Video Game Wrestling. I have mixed feelings about this. Negatives. Microsoft is getting closer to becoming the Disney of gaming. Positives. Activision wasn't doing crap with their IPs other than Call of Duty, so maybe some old IPs will get remakes for Game Pass. Yeah, hopefully, like, Microsoft uh, takes full advantage of owning Act Activision Blizzard. Hopefully they take full advantage and they actually have them you know, remake some old IPs. And yeah, if you're on the Game Pass, if you're on Game Pass right now, then heck, you really don't mind if Microsoft gobbles up everything if you're on Game Pass. I mean, I'm on Game Pass, uh, so it's hard for me to be objective because I'm like, you know, keep on, keep on going, Microsoft. Keep on buying them all up. Then I can play pretty much everything on Game Pass. Uh, not good for Sony, though. Just not good... Unless you're, you know, like I said, on Game Pass. Hydro Thunder 93. Thoughts on Meatloaf? He passed away recently. I would do anything for love. I'd run right in the hell and back. That's a great song. I don't know a lot about Meatloaf, so I would uh, not be the guy to actually make a tribute upload talking about Meatloaf. But he was a great musician. Uh, it's sad that he passed away. I didn't hear about that until you told me that. Uh, sad that Bob Saget and Betty White passed away also, but uh, my thoughts is, you know, I mean, it's a terrible part of life, the fact that we pass on. And with a name like Meatloaf, <sighs> I'm guessing he wasn't exactly the uh, kindest on his body. Sean A. Review Tech is a news network. And then the laughing emoji, the kneeled over laughing crying emoji. Yes, I'm a professional news network. That's so hilarious. And then he has that new studio, right? He's a news network and he has that new studio. It'd be funny if he actually called it a studio uh, set. Studio, the studio set. You know what, Sean A., I can't recall the last time I flipped on ABC, CBS for the news, and then I saw a overweight guy slapping himself with cucumbers and whispering to chickens. I don't recall that. Just doesn't seem professional, you know. Abel Diaz Urbina. He's reviewing cheeseburgers. He's a reviewing cheeseburgers kind of savant. I'm surprised he doesn't buy Burger King, MCDs, Wendy's, Carl Jr.'s, and just eats them on live streams, given how frequent his cheeseburger, cheeseburger habits have been. Are uh, you surprised he doesn't just buy stuff and just eat it during live streams? I don't know what happens really during the live streams. I don't tune in. I know he, like, sometimes takes off clothing during those. Um, yeah. Reviewing cheeseburgers. Interesting, there's actually a lot of channels out there that review food. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of weird in a way to go through channels and to see them actually reviewing the food like in great detail and then eating the food and then the sounds made. I'm like, eh, it's just a bit kind of weird, you know. Generation X Gamer. All tiers are garbage. Patreon in general is a bad investment. Yeah, whenever you invest in something, you want to invest in something that's actually going to make you money. The weird thing is, these YouTubers will, you know, claim, hey, invest in a channel, invest in me, right? Well, if that's the case, if you're investing in a channel, should you get some money back if they hit it big? Uh, but usually what happens is, you know, you build up a channel, you help, you know, you help give them money and, uh, you know, support, and then they become a big channel, and then 
they forget about the early people that supported them. Usually that's what happens. Dumez, for $150 a month, I would expect to see vids of shoving tomatoes up the uh, a-hole. At least three videos of this, 10 minutes each. I think uh, you, we were talking about tears. We were thinking about, uh, you're talking about Nerd Slayer. I don't think Nerd Slayer will be doing that. But I don't even know if that would be a good value. You know, how would that even work? Like you would pay $150 and then he would get on a live stream and then he would bend over and up the tomatoes would go. I, 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 don't, I don't understand uh, the value there, right? That would be a poor investment, especially if you had to provide the tomatoes and send the tomatoes to them because they didn't want to buy the tomatoes. Rogue Squadron underscore 80. People pay the slob to read articles from the internet, laugh out loud. Yes, people actually do pay Rich on the live streams, and they actually do pay him on his join to mostly read articles on the internet. You know, it's a very simple thing. It's a very simple thing. Anyone can really do it. You click on a gaming article, you read segments of the gaming article, then you give some of your thoughts on that. It's a very simple thing. I mean, like everyone does it. Even I do it from time to time. If I don't really have a time to do a comment response show, I'll come back from work, I'll be sitting in the car, I'll flip up my phone, I'll type in gaming news, and in four or five minutes, boom, I've got an upload. But the thing is, Rich actually expects people to give him money for doing the most simplistic of things.